Hello, welcome to Three Crows Runes. My name is Jen. Let's do some rune readings. Today we're doing surprise unicorns again. This is going to be the last surprise the unicorn um, specific ones that I'm doing. I decided to do one for each of the solstices and equinoxes this year, so I only had six, uh, three times four, it says 12. I only, 12. I only have 12 of them, so this is the last of them. <laughs> um, so, have a look at the fun little surprise unicorns that we have. We have uh, one with the hearts and uh, bow and arrow with the hearts. And then we have one that's like royalty. And we have one that is cute. All the cute stuff. It has a it has a little bear on this side as well, but it makes it head heavy. So, so I have it turned this way. So which of these unicorns has a message for you from the surprise unicorn? It's very exciting and it's a message for the holidays because it's the holidays and it's almost the holidays and it's time for lots of fun and exciting things. So feel into the surprise unicorns and see which one has a message for you and then I'm going to put the timestamps in the description and I've just thrown ivy on them and, and pick the reading that you want the most and I will see you there. Bye! Hello Surprise Hearts Unicorn! So I'm going to put the Surprise Hearts Unicorn over here and we're going to see, probably this is going to be like a love kind of reading, but it doesn't have to be a romantic love, it could be like any love reading. So I'm taking the cards out and using the Magical Unicorn Oracle cards and we're going to put down a card for that. Oops, that one wanted to jump out, so that's the one. <laughs> so believe in yourself! Believe in yourself is always a good advice for especially love of any kind. So see yourself doing well and you will. Not necessarily, you do have to put the work in, but let's see what the runes have to say to add to that. Ah, lovely. So let me just finish laying down our message. <laughs> okay. Alrighty. So. Um, exactly what I said, which is nice, so we'll get there. Um, so, heart unicorn with a message for you. The unicorn oracle card says believe in yourself. And the runes say your central issue is going to be picking up and tending your duties and responsibilities, but also driving forward towards your goal. Uh, we have Tivaz. Tivaz is Tears rune. Tears the warrior god. So he has to do with, again, you know, driving forward towards your goal, but also he was very much focused on duty and responsibility and taking care of things that needed to be taken care of. And so that's what you need to focus on as well. Um, so that's your central issue at the moment. Leading up to this, there's been a lot of chaos in your life. We have Hagalaz. Hagalaz is the rune of the hailstorm. It does have to do with natural forces, natural energies, but I do see this right now in this particular reading as being, you've been dealing with a lot of, I want to say crap, but you've been dealing with a lot of um, chaos in your life, a lot of uncontrolled uncontrollables, and you've basically got to the point where you're like, okay, well, what can I control? Because if there's whatever I can control, I'm going to do that. And that's where you're at. That's where you're at now. You're basically saying, "Okay, I'm picking up. I'm dealing with this. I'm tending these things." And what's going to help you here? We have Gabo. Now, Gabo is the rune of the gift. It has to do with an exchange. Um, it has to do with sometimes a one-on-one -on -one relationship. But and I, and I know that this is sort of probably your focus because you've chosen the heart unicorn. However, it also has to do with setting goals and making agreements with yourself and making decisions. So doing that is going to really help you. Um, you may have a significant other person that may, may or may not be a romantic significant other person, but this may be somebody very important to you that you can um, exchange ideas with. That's going to help as well. But mostly I'm seeing this as make a plan. You have, you've decided to basically pick up and deal with this chaos that's everywhere. So make, make a plan and this is what's going to help you, is this plan that you're going to make. What isn't going to help you is we have Issa. Don't let adversity freeze you. That's something that I have suffered from in the past. I would go catatonic in the face of calamity and that is not good and helps absolutely nobody. So don't let the dauntingness of the situation freeze you. Yes, it's a whole hailstorm, but you know what? There are things that you still can do. So freezing, as Isa is warning against, Isa is the ice rune, is not going to help you. What is going to help is make a plan and act on what you can act on. And what this is going to lead to is you are going to have actually a lot that you can actively shape. We have Ing, uh, Ingvaz, which is Ing's rune. 
Um, Ing is another name for Frey, and Frey is the fertility god, and it's basically saying you are going to have from this plan lots of things that you can do, and you're going to be very active working on creating um, what you can out of this hailstorm that's all around you, or was, because now you're putting things in order. So believe in yourself, says the card. And that, Hearts Unicorn, is your reading. I wish you a lovely holiday season. Or whenever you're listening to this, I wish you a lovely day or evening. Take care till next time. Bye. Hello, royal unicorn people. So I'm going to move our little prince unicorn over here. Oh, he's got look like little coat of arms <laughs> on this side. So let's first draw a card and see what the card says. So imagine, what would you see, feel, think, and hear if your wish came true? So, um, someday my prince will come. <laughs> um, imagine, just basically get it into your, really visualize what, what, you're, what you're wishing for at the moment. Really visualize it because you do have to put the work in, but it's going to start with getting a really clear picture of, of what you want. Now, again, also don't let this, um, you know, don't do it and then think, oh, well, because the, the, the danger of doing that is you could make yourself feel like you already have it and, um, and not be driven to go for it anymore. So try to avoid that. That's not in the runes. That's just basically, <laughs> that's basically my advice of you still have to put the work in. Um, as I, saw, I saw a meme the other day that was basically pros and cons of making things. <laughs> Pro, thing con make <laughs> so yeah so you putting the work in is necessary you still have to do that but uh, it's not going to be fully formed once you've fully imagined it but it does help um, in some ways uh, drive you forward towards doing that and if you're actually doing things while you're working on that then it'll actually move you forward anyway let's get to the runes your central issue is we have urus urus is the rune of the wild ox it has to do with a strength and health um, you're sort of focused on that right now. You actually are sort of focusing on your st on uh, on your strength, and maybe you are hoping for it. Maybe you're looking for better health. Leading up to this, we have uh, Yura. Yura is the rune of the harvest, and it has to do with the fruits of your labors and also time. So maybe you've just been through a season of time where you're now worried about your strength and health. So you're sort of focusing on on that. What is going to help you? We have Tivas reverse. Tivas is Tears rune, and Tears rune has to do with Tears a warrior god. So Tear has to do with a driving forward towards a goal, and also tending duties and responsibilities. But it is reversed on the helper line, and what this is saying is, it's time to tend your own duties, like tend your own responsibilities to yourself, which maybe you haven't been doing. Maybe you've been busy in the field working for other people. Um, and putting your own responsibilities on the back burner while you did that and that's why you are worried about your strength and health right now so right now give yourself the focus you know do you know g give yourself the, the the tending that you need because that's something that is definitely necessary do not worry about um, the time this is going to take we have what is going to drag you down what isn't going to help you is you're going to get impatient with that. It's like maybe you're a very, very giving person. I imagine you are, not maybe. <laughs> you're not going to pick unicorns if you're not a caring person in general. Well, maybe you do. I don't know. But, <laughs> but I'm assuming um, the best in you and that you have chosen this. I know you are. You're awesome. Um, because you're very, very caring and you're, you, you look out for people and turning this focus inward on yourself feels selfish but you can't what I just the, the first one that came in was a, you can't serve from an empty bucket and so you need to make sure your bucket is refilled and so do the things that will replenish your bucket and this is part of it this actually will help you in that case is just you know give yourself a rich inner life and that will help restore your bucket and replenish your bucket and give you back the royalty that you deserve <laughs> of yourself. And and so tend those inner needs. Do what you need to do. Um, Self-care and all that good stuff. And don't let how long this may or may not take drag you down. You will be back helping people in no time. And your outcome to this is we have Othala. And Othala is the homeland rune. 
um, you're going to feel much more secure, you're going to feel much more grounded, you're going to feel much more as though you are in a place of security and solace and home, um, which is great. And from there you can go back to helping other people. But you need to have this and you need to create this if it's, if it's depleted. So that, uh, royalty unicorn people, is your reading. I wish you a lovely holiday season and I wish you a lovely day or evening whenever you are watching this. Take care till next time. Bye! Hello cuteness unicorn people! <laughs> so I'm gonna put the cute unicorn over here. It's probably gonna fall on its nose because this little bear here makes it very front heavy. But anyway, let's see what message the cuteness unicorn has for you. So first of all, we're gonna draw a unicorn card. Decide! It is time to clearly make a decision about what you want. Always good advice. Very pretty unicorn too. So let's see what the runes have to say about this. Message for the holidays. Ooh, ooh, that's interesting. Let's see what we get for the rest of this splash reading. Okay, so your central issue is Perthel Reverse. Now Perthel is the rune of the lot box and it has to do with um, surprises and fate and but surprises that were already there. And, it, and reversed on the path line, I see this as either or both, um, either an unpleasant surprise that has happened or a surprise about yourself that you just realized, something about yourself that you was always that was always the case, but you have ne you'd never actually acknowledged it before. And suddenly it's come into your attention and you're like, whoa, okay, that's true. And why didn't I acknowledge this before? So either way, it stopped you in your tracks. It's, it's a surprise that has stopped you. Leading up to this, actually, I'm thinking that this was part of, this was something that you were in communication with somebody and then just, it was like a casual comment that suddenly like your whole massive paradigm shift thing happened. Whereas like just, you know, it's a casual comment somebody had in a conversation you were having, you were communicating with somebody and then all of a sudden this dropped and it was something that had been going on all on along. It was something that had been going on all along and it was something that it was always there, but this is the first time that it actually came into your field of vision and that you actually realized this and it was like for some of you it's, it was something that was like a, like a slap in the face of unpleasantness that you realized this has always been happening and this always was the case and I, I didn't realize this and this is this is a shock or it was something about yourself that you never realized and you never even would have thought to think of in like a million years and it, either way it stopped you in your tracks. So what is going to help you in this point? Um, we have Isa. Isa is the rune of ice and it's the rune of standstill and so take this moment um, because you're immobil immobilized anyway. That's one of the first, that's the first, um, <laughs> the first thing that happens in major change is Im immobilization. So lean into that basically. You need this moment of you're shocked um, and you need to stop and you need to get some clarity happening. So just take that moment of stillness to let the clarity sink in. Now this doesn't mean stop moving forever and it doesn't mean worrying about taking this moment of stopping. So we have <laughs> two things to, to read for that. So we have Avas, which is what isn't going to help you and that's the horse rune and the horse has to do with movement, also spirit, but I'm seeing it more having to do with movement here. But also there's a bit of spirit, so I'm going to talk about that. Um, Ava's reversed on the lower line is what's not going to help you. So not moving forward is not going to help you. Now that seems to contradict this, which is like take this moment to stop and let the clarity come through. But that's a different thing. It's like this is you moving forward. Um, you, there's only, the only way out is through. So, so if you are, if you are, um, you're going to be frozen anyway, but if you just let yourself stay there and never move again, <laughs> like, let's say the surprise was, um, I don't know, you always do this thing <laughs> when you're out and then you're just like, fine, I'll never go out again. It's like, no, that's not what you want to do. You want to basically see what this means for you and you want to take the time to let some clarity come in about 
that and that's what you're doing where you're actually moving forward. But if you just basically say, well, then I'm never doing such and such again, that's not going to help you. As well, you are taking this moment um, to let this sink in. Don't worry about the time that you're going to need to take for this because you're going to need to take some time for this. Like, and I'm not saying take time off work or whatever, but just like basically take a breather, like basically let it, let it assimilate, let it um, integrate into your knowledge and personality and things. And that's what's going to help you. What this is leading to is a greater sense of your note in the song of humanity. We have uh, Manas, the throne of humanity, and your part in it. And you're going to feel more connected after you've gone through this. You're going to feel more connected to humanity. You're going to feel more in harmony with it than you ever did before, as long as you take this time. Well, even if you've pushed forward, you're still going to have it, but you have to come to acceptance of this surprise that you've had. And this is, this is going to actually going to lead to greater, great, greater integration and not integration, a greater feeling of connection with the rest of humanity. So that, and yeah, so make a decision about what you want is, is also really good. It's like, okay, how do I want this to be? Because this is reality. And so once you've accepted that and made that decision, you can step back into humanity and feel more harmonic with it than you ever have before. And that cuteness unicorns is your <laughs> cuteness unicorn people is your reading. So I wish you a lovely holiday and a lovely day or evening whenever you're watching this. Take care till next time. Bye.